Well, hey guys, good morning. Sorry, I just woke up a little rough today. Um, <clears throat> I just want to say this is a little encouraging message. So I had a dream last night and um, the Lord is so good. You know, he just keeps giving me messages, keeps giving me dreams. You know, he's really trying to wake his children up. So for the people saying that the Lord does not want us to find his true calendar date, that's not true at all. The Lord constantly gives me messages about it. He constantly gives me dreams about it. He's giving us clues. He gave another believer a dream to help us find the Lego pieces. Guys, Jesus loves this because we are making it all about him and we are searching for him. So anyway, <clears throat> in my dream last night, I dreamt of Passover and Purim, okay? But it was about the messages. So I really do think that the prodigal, the son, journey from the stars is the messages. Okay, and it's also going to tie into what they're putting out, um, the movies. I think that's why he had said movie. Okay, because um, I was looking at a previous message and it said, look at what the enemy is showing you. It's right in front of your face. So it has to be some kind of predictive program um, or maybe a news article. And I think McKenna, uh, one of the awesome believers, she was on to something, you know, with like an article and everything. And, and I felt the Holy Spirit. So there's definitely clues in that as well from TikTok. Um, and so anyway, let me get back to the dream before I like go on a tangent. Um, so last night I dreamt that I was uploading the video, okay? But what happens on YouTube when you upload a video and you press private, it doesn't, it doesn't go out to everybody. And then once you unpress private and publish it, it goes right out. So in my dream, he said, um, has Purim and Passover gone out yet? Um, and my dream, the YouTube video was private. So I went and pushed it back um, to public. And so the whole thing is when I woke up, he put in my head, go back and look at the Passover and the Purim messages because there's clues in them. So I started going through all of them and I started copying and pasting and sending them to Cassie and Jesus saves and just, you know, finding clues. And there are, that he has like the same things in those and there's some constellation signs. There's the, um, the lightning strikes is my hour sign. And when he says, this is my hour, so they're clues. Some of them are like future um, things, but they're also like now things, you know? So um, I think when we see ice or something, that's gonna be another clue coming. Um, obviously the meteorites falling and the, um, the constellation signs, you know? So I have it all like copy and paste and I sent it to, to Jesus Saves and um, Cassie this morning, Faith Over Fear. And then I'm also um, going to talk to McKenna as well because I think she's on something. So maybe let's look at like what's coming out in the movies or the TV shows and the programs because he said it'll be right in front of our face. Um, anyway, lots of clues and I'm excited because Jesus really is coming soon. He really is. I mean, he would not be doing all this if he wasn't, guys. And... Um, it's not too late to know him. It's not. All you have to do is just ask him. Guys, he, he gave me a message last night that was so powerful that I could feel the Holy Spirit all over. I felt his anger, but I also felt his sadness and his love for his kids. And he gave me the true gospel, guys. You know, it is not a workspace gospel. It is your faith and grace. And he explains what, um, you know, that Matthew seven twenty one verse is. Lord, Lord, we prophesied in your name. We've cast out demons in your name or devils. Um, and I'll declare I never knew you, you who practice iniquity. Well, the people who are practicing iniquity are no longer under him, are not under him because they've never believed in him. You know, the people prophesying in his name who really don't have a relationship with him that are doing it for their own gain and they're just making money and selling themselves out to Satan. And I'm not saying the people making money are the ones selling themselves out self out to Satan in ministries. Obviously, that's how they live. I'm talking about the ones who truly are just fake and who do not have a relationship with Jesus selling them out. That's what that verse means, okay? So like, 
even though it says, you know, they will not inherit the kingdom of heaven, all those things. Well, guys, when he took away the sin, he took away the sin. So when you truly fall in love with Jesus, guys, you're, he's going to change your heart. He's going to change your mind. And it's not something that we can do. Guys, okay, I used to shop a lot, a lot. I mean, I would spend like three or $400 a week on boutiques when I started doing really, really good in real estate. Because I never, I was like a server my whole life and I had like $38 in my account my whole life. And I was like, oh my gosh, I made money. So I was super excited about it. And, you know, of course, as a woman, well, as for me, I love accessories and all those things. But the Lord said to me before all this happened, he said, you can't love me and the world. And immediately, guys, because I'm so close to Jesus because I I think of him 24-7. I worship him all the time. I read his word all the time. Um, you know, I, I do feel that constant that constant connection with him. I feel him holding my hand all the time. And, um, you know, that's how he helps me get through all the tragedies in my life that I've been through. Um because I lost a lot of people, you know, a lot of people died within just like one year, very, very close people, you know, my sister, my dad, my brother's son got ran over the same year. Um, and then, you know, I lost a couple babies within those three years, but the peace that I have is all because of Jesus, all because of Jesus, because he's amazing and he has such an amazing personality and guys, he wants that from everybody. He wants that. I am not special. He has no favorites. You know, you just, you drop things for him. You give your life up for him and you truly do pick up the cross and follow him. And so he lays down all those things, you know, that, that we struggled with, you know, um, my shopping or my music. Guys, I used to worship music. That's all I wanted to do. I mean, I would go in debt for it. I would go back and forth to Nashville. I would disobey my husband for music. Like it was bad. And I didn't even realize, you know, that I was idolizing something that I love because I used it as, oh, well, the Lord gave it to me. And, you know, it's the desire of my heart. And he wouldn't have gave me this talent if he didn't want me to use it and all that stuff. So just like with shopping, I was like, oh, it makes me happy. And I'm blessing the the local people, we always make excuses for it. You know, if the Holy Spirit's telling you something, listen to the Holy Spirit because it's helping you grow with Jesus, okay? And that's what it's all about. It's about growing your relationship with him. It's not about you trying to do anything. It's about coming to him and vulnerability, praying and worshiping. And you just ask Jesus to take those things away, whether you're struggling with an addiction, whether you're struggling with, you know, um, whatever it is, guys, you know, whatever sin you have going on in your life that you're struggling with, you ask Jesus to take that away. You ask him to renew your mind. It's not about our works to get to heaven, guys. That is why the path is so narrow and very few find it. Okay, guys, Jesus is awesome. Have a blessed day.